Guess what? It's time for another Simmers Morning Skate, although today with Ken Holland, the general manager of the Edmonton Oilers and what, president, president Grand Poobah, what's, what's all the titles? That's good enough. Good enough. <laughs> just, <laughs> just general manager yeah. uh, of the Edmonton Oilers. It's more of a Simmers matinee because that's what we have today. By the way, we'll throw this out there, a disclaimer in advance. We're talking before the game, so by the time you see this, you might see it after the game's over. So he might be, there might be smoke coming out of his ears, or he might be smiling just like this. Um, Oilers looking pretty good, don't you think? Yeah, we've been playing, uh, you know, really since probably Christmas time. Rob, we've been playing uh, good hockey. Uh, obviously, we got ourselves behind the eight ball. You know, had to chase some teams, and uh, the teams above us uh, rarely lose. And uh, we've sort of been hanging in there, and. Uh, you know, we, we we were banged up a little bit before Christmas. We've gotten healthy, and we've had some good some good things happen since. Okay, so the big question mark has been, and as we watched over the years, I've said it myself. Man, it can get a little messy in their own end at times. The Oilers, but we've taken some correct taken some corrective measures. First, tell us about picking up Ekholm from the Predators. Well, going into the trade deadline, uh, you know, that what we wanted to do was acquire defense when I talked to a lot of teams and ultimately made a decision on uh, Ekholm. I think he's been everything that we had hoped uh, he was going to be. He's, I think he's found a good partnership with uh, with Evan Bouchard last year. You know, the second half of the year, Evan Bouchard was with Duncan Keith. I thought they were a really good pair, you know, a veteran player, veteran uh, stay-at-home defenseman with a with a with a good young offensive defenseman, and then you know that the first half this year we were trying to find a partner for Bush, and ever since we've uh, had the trade uh, to acquire Ekholm, they've found some uh, some good chemistry. So it's it's not only that we've added Ekholm. I think Bouchard's playing his best hockey of uh, of the year right now uh, with, uh, with 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 Ekholm. He, you know, obviously, he's six foot four. He provides us uh, you know a physical back there. He's, he's formed a good partnership with Vinny Deharnay, penalty killing. Um, Vinny's six foot seven, uh, Ekholm's six foot four, so they take up a lot of space. They both they both block shots. So I think Ekholm's brought a lot of different things: leadership, size, physicality. Uh, you know, he's a stabilizing force, and he's found a real good chemistry with uh, with Evan Bouchard. And I also think he's going to be good for uh, you know being a Swede for for Broberg. You know, uh, he's going to be able to mentor those young those young uh, those young defensemen that uh, you know when you're young you need some good vets to look up to. Yep. Hey, you already just mentioned Vinny Deharnay. Holy Max, did this guy um, emerging? Like, what, what are we doing? Well, these? you know, when I, when I got to Edmonton in 2019, Peter Shirelli and his scouts had drafted Vinny Deharnay, um, and he was playing at Providence. Um, we eventually made a decision to sign him to an American League contract. Um, played two years on an American League contract, and, you know, went uh, was sent to the East Coast League for a brief period of time, but he's constantly gotten better. Um, really established himself as a real legitimate top four defenseman in Bakersfield. Unfortunately for uh, for Vinny and for us, the last two training camps, he missed the entire training camp with injury, so we weren't able to play him in preseason games. We didn't really know what uh, you know what uh, what he could contribute. We signed him to an NHL deal last year, I think, in about February. And under the rules, if we'd have played him one game, he had to be a waiver player this year. So we made the decision not to play him last year, yep. to be able to kind of, you know, send him down this year. And and uh, obviously we've called him up now, and he's really uh, we traded uh, Barry away at the deadline, and uh, you know he's found a good good chemistry with uh, Kulak in the third pair. Uh, he's found good chemistry with Ekholm on the PK. So uh, you know he's he's he's, he's big and rangy, long stick, likes to sh block shots, uh, defensive minded. Can make the good simple 10 foot passes to transition us from defense to offense so you know certainly with Ekholm the addition of Ekholm the emergence the growth of, of Broberg the growth of Deharnay the growth of Bouchard uh, you know we feel feel good about uh, our defense core. All right there you go that's the most sensitive area you have superstars the Seattle Kraken do not we haven't seen this game yet uh, you beat them 7-2 5-2 they beat you 5-2 what do we think of this club that's uh, pretty much generic in terms of a lot of balanced scoring. There's no, nobody really jumps out like a McDavid or a dry Well, they can really score. They're balanced scoring. I, I was just looking as we were in the press room there, there was a note there. I think uh, if uh, Oleksiak or somebody scores tonight, they'll, they'll, they'll have, 14 have 14 players with, with 10 goals or yeah. more, the, more, the most since 95, 96. So yeah. if you're doing something that hasn't been done since, uh, you know, in almost 30 years, 
uh, you're doing something. And so certainly they've got balanced scoring up and down the lineup. They have lots of people that can score goals. I think that's been the strength of their team. Obviously, Matty Benier's the emerging. You know, he's a, a rookie of the year candidate. And uh, Ron Francis made some great additions in the in the off season. You know, they picked up Tolvin and off the waivers and traded for for Bjorkstrand. So they they they. Uh, uh, Burakovsky, so he, he's added lots of scoring. So, you know, they're they're a deep team. They can uh, roll four lines. They can get the goals up and down the lineup. Um, you know, certainly, uh, you know, they're in a race. Seattle, L.A. What is it from from we're 90 to 82? I think there's so the good, four, four teams yeah. within eight points. So, you know, it's it's uh, a real tight, close division. And you know, Seattle certainly been a, a great story uh, this year. Kenny, here's my pick. It hit me like a ton of bricks. I was just sitting around last night watching hockey, or maybe it was two nights ago. Picking the Edmonton Oilers. It's my cup pick. Well, I hope you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you have four in Detroit. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, nice yeah. job. Yeah. I was. Thanks, yeah. You know, it's weird. I was traveling around the league. I did 31 buildings in 31 days in 31 cities back in eight, late 18. Yeah. And it was right before Pete. Yeah. And then you came in right after that yeah. and it looks like things are working out pretty well thanks always a pleasure yeah thanks always nice visiting with you yeah yeah, yeah. all right there he is ken holland uh, ken holland grand poobah gm pres senior vp president whatever all those things you don't care if i call you yeah. there he is have fun today yeah thanks a lot